Hello everyone, thanks for watching. This is Hadrian. Let's play some more Crown of Charlemagne in Total War Attila. So, I start a lot of episodes now doing that. So, uh, <laughs> we are about to attack Marseille. And I'm a little disappointed about how tiny it is. It makes me sad. But we've got our units lined up on the side here. We have a battering ram in the middle. We have... Uh, siege towers on either side of the battering ram, ladders on either side of the siege towers, and then archers here to kind of mess up everyone's day in the meantime. So let's start the battle. Looks like there's some... Speaking of archers, actually I can use one of my cavalry to clean them up. Alright. There's some archers the out in that boat there. Ooh, there's also... Okay. Well, there's there's some ship-borne enemies coming in. So that'll be interesting. So now it's a relatively wide engagement range that we have here. But what I'm going to do is just position my archers back here. We get them in skirmish mode in case anyone gets crazy. Get them in loose formation so they can fire as needed. But they will be able to fire upon anyone in the general area that we're attacking. And we have reinforcements coming in right now. So we'll have to deal with them in just a moment. The enemy draws near. Our enemies stand on their walls and think themselves safe. Enemy reinforcements have arrived. I don't know where the land rain. Oh, there they are. Land reinforcements are coming in from that direction. Uh, they're probably going to come into the city. So it looks like we might just have a major battle inside the city. Let's go ahead and take care of our potential archer problem here. By bringing in our good friends, the cavalry. <laughs> oh, cool. They have, I, I was confused what that cloth was, but evidently they have like fur all over the front of the... Oh, crap. Are you guys not going to... Oh, yeah, they're just going to stand there. That's real cute. Alright, let's pause for a moment and give our reinforcements some orders because we we got a ton of reinforcements. So we have some additional cavalry. Bring them over here. One of you is a general, right? No, I don't see him, but okay. Um, yeah, that guy's the general. There he is. Yeah, Theodobert, guardsman. Okay. So, then we have the spearmen. Try to get my bearings on what exactly I want to do with these guys. I think I just want to kind of have a pile in back here. Because this is the area where we will have access to the city. I, I want all my forces in one place. It's not... The stakes are not high enough to where we need to think in terms of dividing and conquering and you know having grand strategies like that. Turn on skirmish mode and not loose spacing for the other archers. All right. All right, you guys march at a normal speed, please. Same with you. Don't waste your energy. All right. So they're going to take a minute to get there, but that's okay because my units here are still approaching the walls. What are you doing? <laughs> There's, there's a pretty large army here, too, so we will probably end up fighting this army on this beach with our forces that are coming in to reinforce. 
That's looking like the plan. Archers are doing a good job cutting down those skirmishers. The skirmishers are evidently also doing a good job cutting down my archers I have. Oh, okay. Interesting start. Alright, so the reinforcements coming in from land are going into the city. So these guys, as they land, are going to have a ton of problems because I'm just, I'm going to swarm them with cavalry. And I'll have units as well, but I'm going to use my cavalry to maximum effect here. All right. Swordsmen are over the walls. We're going to try and capture the gates. We're also going to try and batter them down. So we're off to a pretty good start here. Oh, the archers have actually left the shore. I was expecting that. Interesting. So the battering ram has been... Oh, wait, no. Battering ram hasn't been destroyed. We've knocked the gates down. That's what matters. I'm going to bring my other archers back to help with this attack here. No, we are at their walls. It's the other way around. Alright. These guys are marching into position. Let's go ahead and get them to hurry up. They're a little bit behind. But I'm confident that my archers will be able to do a lot of damage right now. Good. Let me get my general to chill back here for a bit. Both of them, in fact, just so they're not in danger. All right, looks like for the most part they are trying to just get this army inside the city, which is ideal when I want to do something like this. Whoa, what's what's happening? So now we've got, we're getting attacked on both sides here by single units, but the units that are attacking are generally doing well. Enemy unit, our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Advance! 
Alright, so we're just gonna have one giant melee out here because it looks like I might not have time to organize it. any gates. <laughs> there are no gates to fall to the enemy. Alright, so now we've got this entire group here that climbed the walls fighting this large group here. We've got some lockup. Not good. Oh. Where's that coming from? They appear to have some artillery somewhere. Though for the life of me, I can't see where. Oh, okay. They've got some artillery way outside the city. Generals! Go take care of that for me, please. sword units are all the way over there on the right hand side. I don't know why. What's going on? Oh, hello. Alright, so our units inside the walls are fighting well, but they are losing because they've been torn up by artillery. I've got my generals charging in to take care of that artillery. You guys need to get inside. Black tidings. Our general is dead. Uh, how's that? He must have gotten hit by a tower, maybe? Yeah, it's Theodebert. He's one of my older generals, too. That's unfortunate. Men's morale is suffering. This is not good. This is our force that has survived. They are charging in through the battered down gates. Generals are taking care of the artillery problem. All right, the artillery problem is no longer a problem. And our odds are ever increasing. I thought I told all of you to get in here. I'm, brisk I'm bringing my entire force now into Marseille. I don't know what you guys are waiting for, but get in there. I have additional artillery somewhere. That's problematic. That's what turned the tide in the previous battle. So there was quite a massacre out here. This is where we fought them outside. And now we're fighting them inside with the outside force. These are the real winners of the day. I'm ordering everyone in just to pile in and take care of their remaining forces there. 
Matter of fact, speaking of that, I'm gonna go ahead and make a selection group. And have our generals join the men so that they are reinforced, reinvigorated by the presence of the general. Well, one general's dead, unfortunately. But Marseille will soon be ours. Nothing will stand in our way. Man, two skirmishers are just fighting to the last man here. There's one left. And he might die now. He's running. He's trying to run. He's still dead. Oh, okay, there he goes. Okay, they have additional artillery over on the far side. That's annoying. We're going to go ahead and take care of their general, though. hit him on both sides, so that's ideal. I'm just letting the pathfinding kind of do the work for me, so you can see they're pouring around in two separate directions there. Oh, crap. Barricade up, I didn't see that. Try and take that down. We are capturing a victory point! Good! Archers were the first guys to actually arrive and attack him, so this battle is going to go interestingly until the armored troops arrive in the back there. That barricade is coming down. As soon as it comes down, the general's going to be in real trouble. He's already losing badly, though. And our, sh our flag is going up over Marseille. You see it right there. Doing well. Stuff is on fire. I'm going to go ahead and bring all the men over to the far side here. Well, oh, there are women. Okay, never mind. We're not going to do anything. Because <laughs> we just won. Whew. All right. So, uh, lost almost a thousand men, but they lost twice as many. Not the worst thing in the world. Not the worst thing in the world. Done. Occupy Marseille. Commander. Pepin's chosen. Yeah, Theodebert was one of my oldest generals. That's a shame. So we're going to go ahead and give it to Red Bad. <laughs> That's kind of an awesome name for a general. Uh, you need additional authority and additional zeal. Let's start you with that. Commander. Ready for orders. Hmm. Lord. Go ahead and finish off some of the units that helped out there. Then we'll kind of take a look at how things are shaping up, you know, as far as us getting the Pope to Rome, which is our next Please major reporting. objective. Is that all? On the move. At your command. At your command. Ooh. We need to get rid of those catapults. Bye bye. All right, so we just sank their catapults. The, the ones that got away that we were trying to get to. Now we can bring these guys back in. Ah, uh, let's see. You definitely need additional zeal, badly. All right, so that's good. Now, Marseille needs repair. And then we'll see... So there's a siege workshop in Marseille right now. There's two siege workshops in Marseille. Uh, let me go ahead and start converting one. That way it can be a recruitment center here, which we can continue to build up and have troops ready to kind of march this direction and help 
help us carve a path to uh, Rome. But anyway, speaking of that, Charlemagne needs to make his way through. I don't want him to go through the woods because I just I'm afraid of what will happen <laughs> every single time. So instead, we're going to go this way. Charlemagne has the Pope with him, so we're going to go ahead and bring him down. So these four armies will be surrounding the Pope on our way down to Roma, which is going to be awesome. I'm excited about it. What else is going on here? Can we trade with anyone new? Republic of Venice. Can we trade Welcome, with Venice? Worthy guest. I trust hey. you. Trade. I will never argue with more trade. Okay. Oh, wait. Can we trade with Wilsey, maybe? You have the ear of my people. No. Do not wait. No, we can't. Hmm. And then there was there's the rebellions down here. Uh, we need to let public order continue to improve here a bit more before we move any of these armies. But okay, I think we can go ahead and cut this episode here. That was an interesting little battle for Marseille. Didn't go very very smoothly, but got the job done. Appreciate you for watching, and if, as always, if you have any comments, feel free to leave them below. I appreciate very much all of the uh, positive reactions to the series so far and all of the awesome questions I've gotten on the channel in general over the past couple of weeks. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in a bit.